everyone in this video we are going to discuss a very famous problem known as longest palindromic subsequence so we are given a string and we have to identify a subsequence of this string so we have to pick the characters out of the string and the order of characters should remain same and this is known as a subsequence and we have to find a subsequence which is a palindrome so a palindrome is a string which is same which if we read it from in the forward direction or if we read it in the backward direction it remains same so we have to find of all such sequences sequence subsequences which are palindrome we have to find the longest one so in this example and we have to return its length so in this example the longest palindrome is this and its length its length is 4 and hence our answer is 4 so this is a very famous question and it uses it uses dynamic programming and and the state is length of the substring for which we are finding longest increasing subsequence so so let's say that indices of these characters are from 0 to 4 so we'll create a dp matrix and so let's create a 2d dp matrix and the entry dp xy where x is from 0 to 4 and y is from 0 to 4 is longest palindromic subsequence for string for substring sx to sy where uh, sx is a xth character of the string and y is the yth character of the string so it's longest palindromic subsequence so let's see on this example first we'll consider all the substrings of length 1 so length is 1 so we have 5 substrings of length 1 and for all the substrings of length 1 so dp00 this entry here we'll consider the substring that starts at 0 and, and ends at 0 and we know that if there is only one character the longest palindrome we can make is of length 1 so this one represents the substring which starts at one and ends at one which is this b this one represents the substring which starts at three so this is basically start and this is end and ends at three which is this a so for all the substrings of length one the answer is one for now let's see substring of length length two so which starts at zero and ends at one let's say this entry since since uh, the sx is s is equal to sy for substring of length 2 we know that here y is equal to x plus 1 because we just have length 2 if this is the case then our answer is 2 because because we have a palindrome of size 2 else our answer is 1 
so this is else so here for 0 to 1 my answer is 2 for 1 to 2 which is this this substring my answer is again 2 for 2 to 3 which is this my answer is 1 because sx is not equal to sy for 3 to 4 again my answer is 1 now we'll move to length 3 so from 0 to 2 this entry so now so for length is equal to 1 answer is 1 for length is equal to 2 we decide on this basis on base of this for length greater than 2 so what we see is that if sx is equals to sy so where x is the first character and y is the last character so here x is 0 y is 2 so if these two characters are equal as in this case then our longest palindrome would be of length as calculated by dp x plus 1 comma y minus 1 which means which means let's say this is sx this is sy and this is x plus 1 this is s of y minus 1 and we have a substring like this and since we are calculating the dp values based on length and this is a smaller length substring present here so we already know the answer for this and it's stored in dp x plus 1 comma y minus 1 and whatever the subs longest palindromic subsequence we can find for this substring from x plus 1 to y minus 1 we will add to the 2 to this if sx is equal to sy otherwise if they are not equal then then we have two cases so now since these s this sx is not equal to sy to find the longest increasing subsequence it would be same as either the longest increasing subsequence from so max of dp from x comma y minus 1 because whatever be the longest subsequence of this case 1 and then this case 2 here dp x plus 1 comma y so whichever of these two substrings would have a longer palindromic subsequence would give us our answer because because sx and sy both can't be into our answer because if they they can only be into our answer for answer for substring sx to s xy because the only way they can be into answer for substring sx to sfy is that they are the first and last characters of the palindromic subsequence and then there are few characters out of this and for them to be the first and last character of the palindromic subsequence they have to be same if they are not same then we have to exclude one of the those and we have two cases so here we exclude sy here we exclude sx and whichever of these two cases give us a better answer we take that so in so let's continue filling our table for index 0 to 2 so since s at 0 and s at 2 is both equals to b our answer would be 2 plus from 1 to 1 so 1 to 1 is 1 so it would be 3 so index from 1 to 3 so since b is not equal to a for this substring so we will either exclude a or we will exclude the first b and whatever the maximum of these that would be our answer for that case so maximum would be b b so answer would be 2 now sorry so now let's see for the case 2 to 4 so this is our index 2 to 4 now since sx is equal to sy answer would be 2 plus the result of this the result of this is 1 so answer would be 3 so now let's see for length is equal to 4 so from 0 to 3 this is a substring and since b is not equals to a 
we'll have two cases either we consider this or we consider this and we know that a better answer is this three so here we'll get three now let's see for case one to four so this is a substring for one to four since b and b is same we'll see what's the answer for this and the answer for this is one and hence answer would be two plus the answer for the substring in between which would be two plus one which is three and finally we calculate the answer for the entire substring for the entire string so it's from zero to four and since sx is equal to sy our answer would be two plus answer for, for this substring and answer for this is dp1 comma 3 so dp1 comma 3 is 2 here so answer would be 2 plus 2 which is 4 and finally we return dp0 comma n minus 1 where n is the length of string So there are many questions which of dynamic programming which are filled in the same way as we filled this dp table in a diagonal way. So and the state is basically dependent on the length of the sub problem for which we are finding our solution and hence it's good to know this problem of longest palindromic subsequence because we can then solve a larger set of problems which follow the same pattern. So now let's see this in code. Hi, so now let's see the code for longest palindromic subsequence. I'll strong store the size of the string in my variable n and then I'll initialize the DP array. So I'll start with length 1 so l is equal to 0 will refer to length 1 so l is basically the gap between x and y and if gap is 0 then length is basically 1 and If L is 0 then basically we have the substring of size 1 and answer is 1 for that if the gap between X and Y is 1 that means we have a substring of length 2 and in that case if SX is equals to s y then the answer is 2 else the answer is 1 else now if again if s x is equals to s y Then the answer is 2 plus dp of x plus 1 comma y minus 1 else the answer is max of dp of x plus 1 comma y or dp of x comma y minus 1. So I hope this is clear and Finally, we simply return dp of 0 to n minus 1. So now let me try and submit this. Mission has been successful. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Give a thumbs up and subscribe. Stay tuned as more and more good videos are coming soon. Goodbye. See you.